What's going on, me hit the Louis the Boiler Man here. Guys, we're in the favorite part of the house, the boiler room, baby. That's right, we're here working on a Navy and Boiler NCB240E. Okay, guys, we're here in the boiler room. We're working on this NCB right now. And I got the call, and the call was, Louis, I'm turning on the hot water, and pa, there's no hot water, and it's burning out the fuse. So sure enough, when he tells me that information, you know, my head starts, da, 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 and it starts interpreting what's going on. And sure enough, when if it's the, it's the inline fuse, which is right here, guys, you always wanna make sure that the power is off. There's a little fuse right here, believe it or not, it's causing all this headache. Let me show you guys. This little mierdita right there. So guys, this is the inline. So what I mean by inline, meaning this is a 115 volt fuse. So the first thing I, I ask him, when does it start happening? He tells me, Louis, when it's on standby, meaning it goes to a pre-purge, it doesn't pop. It's only when there's a call for hot water heat, when it's engaging, it turns on. So right away, that tells me it's somewhere on the high side with a high voltage side. And it's only four possible things, the most common things that could go bad. So I disconnected the circulator pump. I disconnected the, the three-way valve in the back. And when I have it disconnected, I made a call for hot water again, and it popped. The next two things, would be the inducer fan motor or the ignition pack. But remember guys, when it's on standby or when it's on pre-purge, this yeah, turns on. So this already tells me there's nothing wrong with the actual motor. And sure enough, I go to the ignition or the coil, whatever you guys want to call it, and we disconnect it just like that, and we make it go through the cycle again. And sure enough guys, it didn't pop. So this is called process of elimination, but you need to know what to look for. So guys, this is what it is. This is troubleshooting 101. You have any questions? Who are you gonna call? You're gonna call this handsome son of a gun at 516-377-5200, and I'll be the one fixing your boiler today. Whippa. All right, guys, we just finished installing a new ignition transformer. It looks something just like this. So, guys, you just finished wrapping her up. So, now the next step is making sure they have some hot water, baby. You want to wash their cooler. All right, guys, this is the final step. We always want to make sure before we leave that they have making sure and assure that they have hot water. And sure enough, I can't put my hand long enough because it's, it's boiling hot. So, guys, that's a good sign because they need some hot water to wash, you know what. And, guys, this is what it takes to install a ignition transformer. And not only that, this is what it takes to be professional and working on these type of boilers, specifically a tankless water heater or a Navian boiler. But if you have a Navian boiler or any type of tankless water or any boiler, who are you gonna call? Call Louis the Boiler Man, 516-377-5200. Whip out.